Well, hello, everybody, and bear with me if I cough during this as I've just gotten over COVID. Um, not fun, by the way, those of you that have not had it yet. Um, those of you that have probably know. First couple of days were pretty awful, and then after that, I got better. It sounded like a regular flu, but I've kind of got this nagging now cough and uh, stuffed up nose, so I apologize for that. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, February, I uh, saw 61 new listings come on, and there were 38 sales, so that ratio is pretty standard for what we've been seeing so far this year. And I'm going to get into a little bit more detail here in about 30 seconds. Um, currently, there's 147 listings on the market. What that means is that we're a little bit below where we need to be for that balanced market. Our normal is around about 160 to 170. I suspected that by the summer we would get to 170. So I'm hoping we're going to get there to maintain a balanced market. And that is where it looks like we're going to go. Um, which interestingly enough the heat map is now at five which is uh indicating that the probability of either prices going up or down it's kind of up in the air which this is definitely going to address for you um sales are seasonably low uh the, the actual number of sales that we're getting right now 38 sales is a little bit low for this time of the year normally we would see about 45 to 50 sales so it's a little bit low um, but then again, the volume of new listings coming on is also a tiny bit low, although it's more on track than it was a couple of weeks ago. So that's that's a good sign. We're seeing more balance in the market right now, and that's a good thing. Um, however, what we are seeing right now is current sales are increasing. For example, there were, uh, I think, 11 in seven days, there were 11 sales and 10 listings. And then prior to that, it was two to one, and now it's three, and then it was long-term three to one. So we're seeing more property selling. So there's a, definitely a little bit of upward pressure. I'm going to say supportive pressure because the, the uh, uh, prices aren't really going up, but the prices are stabilizing a little bit. And that also comes out with our um, uh, percentage of asking price, which has now gone up back up to 96%. It was down as low as 93%. 96% uh, is fairly balanced. Actually, anything up to 98 is balanced. And then when you start getting prices that are being asked for properties closer to 100%, it's signaling that there's a top in the market coming. Uh, so that's kind of one of the things we look at when we consider the probability direction index or the heat map. But just to keep that in mind, uh, that's what we're going for. Now, um, additional notes, sort of things to be aware is that half of the properties that sold last month were over a million dollars. So a large portion of the properties being sold right now are homes. Uh, and that's questionable about whether or not there's lack of qualification for people with mortgages, which will bring us down when we get into the interest rates as into something fairly interesting. Um, the highest price property sales so far in Squamish was $2.4 million, which is not ridiculously high for the Squamish market, although I do know there's a $3 million plus um, transaction sitting on the books up in the Highlands up by the university, um, and that should come available in the next couple of weeks. So when we do the next report, you'll see a, a one sale over $3 million. So that'll be uh, probably the highest sale for the year. Um, now, interesting of note, uh, the breakdown of the sales, there was only one sale in Garibaldi Highlands, which is reasonably low for that area. There were no sales in the Squamish Valley or Hospital Hill um, and only one in Dentville. So there was some specific area uh, activity and one of those areas was not the Garibaldi Highlands which is unusual so generally right now the market is stabilizing and there's some economic reasons for that so I'll quickly go over those economic reasons for you that you just want to keep in mind interest rates are seeing signs of coming down now the Bank of Canada already paused that's fine but then as a result of the most recent bank run that just happened there is a liquidity concern. And why that's a big issue is the bank is not likely to pass on savings to people uh, in, in a reduced mortgage rate because they need the higher interest rates to encourage people to put deposits into the bank in order for them to maintain liquidity. Now, there's a fine balance there when you get to the point where interest rates are too high, then we're going to be they're going to be looking actually elsewhere in the bonds and T-bills and things for security instead of looking to their deposits for security. So there's a happy medium there, but right now we're, we're at that point. So the bank's not likely to change their mortgage rates uh, that much right now. And there's a lot of stress in the banking sector. So with the stress in the banking sector, it puts a lot of stress on the mortgage approval people who are going to start saying, maybe we shouldn't be approving these mortgages because of a liquidity issue that if we can't fund everything. And right now, like CIBC, for example, 
20% of their mortgages are not even able to reach their interest payments. So that's massive. Um, mortgage origination down across Canada is 30% down this month over last month. So what that means is not as many people are getting approved for mortgages. So even though the interest rates are coming down, there's not as many buyers getting approved for mortgages. And those that currently have their mortgages aren't able to reach their minimum payments. Now, the bank is kicking the can down the road a little bit. Um, they say extend and pretend is what the bank is doing. They're extending the limits and pretending that these clients are going to be able to make their payments. And as a result, that's kept some properties off the market because the people who might be forced into sales are not being forced into sales right now because the bank is extending a little bit, uh, i.e. making their payments, even though their payments are less than their interest payments, they're just increasing the size of the mortgage to compensate for that. Not a great way for things to go. <clears throat> the last uh, economic indicator thing I wanted to mention was uh, the three-year, um, ten-month, or three, ten-year, three-month yield and the ten-year, two-year yield, which is are two of the yields I've talked about before. They did peak and they have started coming down. Now, if they break down and go uninverted and they go back to regular spread, that's indicative of there being a recession imminent. Um, and we're not there yet, but we are starting to go in that general direction. I think the last time I spoke, I said we're probably about three to six months away. And we are now probably two to three months away from it being an official recession uh, as far as that goes and, and the government announcing that. So keep that in mind when you're looking at things that may impact where, we, where we're headed and where we're going. Um, and the final thing, well, sorry, is the Fed. The Fed's going to have their announcement. Yes, they're probably going to do a 0.25 uh, basis points or 25 basis point increase. Um, they're not going to go flat, I don't think. Um, but even with that anticipation, the stock market is really shrugging off anything and they're really having trouble getting out of the hole. So lots going on here. Uh, we anticipate the market will remain fairly stable here until a direction is determined by the Bank of Canada as how they're going to handle the liquidity crisis and inflation. So those two are going to be the big things that we're going to be watching over the next uh, coming months. Uh, and that will indicate which direction we go. Uh, right now, we're pretty much in a holding pattern, uh, very slow volume of sales, very slow volume of listings, but we are getting a little bit of upward pressure on sales exceeding the listings. Um, but I think that'll turn around pretty, uh, pretty soon. All right. Well, that's it for now. Hope you guys have a fantastic uh, week coming up. Enjoy the last bit of March break and we will talk to you soon. Bye for now.